Me and the boy are at the Phillies games, and the Phillies are getting blown out eight to one. So boy, I'm gonna take you on a trip around Ashburn Alley and show you all the great things about the Philadelphia Phillies. The boy's from Florida, so we don't know much about sports. Boy, this is Harry Callis. He's the greatest baseball announcer of all time. There he is. Yeah, 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 think, yeah. Harry Callis died in 2009. Uh, broadcasting a baseball game. getting ready to broadcast a baseball game. He had a heart attack in Washington, D.C. I did a video at his grave a few years ago. You can watch that uh, somewhere on my page or whatever. But Harry Callis is the greatest guy. And whenever the Phillies want it, boy, you're not paying attention. And when the, when the Phillies ever won the game, uh, Harry Callis now sings uh, High Hopes. So here we are now. We're, uh, I think that's Steve Carlton over there. But now in 2018, this is my first game in a few years, they have all these numbers. They got, uh, and they got the World Series trophies and all the banners. Look, boy. That's how many championships the Phillies won. And they've been a team for 127 years. And they got the World Series trophy. So out of 127 years, they, whatever, they won two. I was exaggerating. And this is the Wall of Fame. There's Greg Bull Lazinski at Bull's Barbecue. Dallas Green, the Phillies manager. Juan Samuel. I cried when he got traded, but the Phillies got Lenny Dykstra. There's Mike Lieberfall. What do we do to Mike Lieberfall, boy? Give him a what? Thumbs, but thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down, that's right. Jim Tomey. John Crook. There's Harry Callis. He's got a broadcasting thing. Pretty cool. They got like a little... Larry Boa, Steve Carlton. There's Jim. There he is. All right. So, and there's Richie Ashburn's number. And this is just in the entrance. It's only, boom, get hit with some Philly nostalgia. So, all right, boy, what else you want to say? What do you mean you don't know? Well, it's, it's, ah! Uh-oh. It's eight to two, so everyone's leaving. As you can see. You like the baseball game, boy? Yep. Come on, let's go say hi to Mr. Ashburn himself. <laughs> they got PJ Wheelahans, Tony Lukes, some local favorites. Oh. There it is, there's the sign. Ashburn Alley, 308 batting average, 257, 257, 74 hits. And there's a statue. You know, what was Richie Ashburn's nickname, boy? Guess. Was it fasty, lefty, or whitey? It was Whitey, dummy. Whitey. Why would you say lefty? That's Steve Carlton. <laughs> He's not racist. Oh, he had white hair. Right here is where the, the, this is where the pitchers warm up. If the Diamondbacks were doing better, we would heckle them, but they're killing us, so they don't have pitchers warming up. We got Seasons Pizza, Campos. And I don't know if this is new this year or the year before. I don't go to the games that much because the Phillies stink. But uh, this thing's called the yard. And it's this really cool interactive thing they have for kids. There's Chicky and Pete's. Oh, and the boy likes Chicky and Pete's, right, boy? Yeah, the boy likes Chicky and Pete's. But this is the yard. A wiffle ball field. Oh, look at this kid. Uh, these kids play the field. You want to play in the outfield, boy? No. They have like a rock climbing thing. 
Look at that. Just climbing over to Philly. We have a hot dog launching thing. So check out Citizens Bank Park if you got. It's like ten bucks to get in for standing room tickets. You walk around, you get a few beers, you have a good time. All right, say goodbye, boy.